His Excellency William Ruto, President of the Republic of Kenya. His Excellency uh, Matamela Cyril Ramaphosa, President of the Republic of South Africa. Members of the Kenyan and South African Cabinet, Ambassadors, Business Executives and Captains of Industry representing both countries. Distinguished ladies and gentlemen, Wujambo, Sunny Bonani, good afternoon. Excellencies, we've had more than 300 business representatives who've been involved in plenary and roundtable discussions for much of today. You would have heard now from the two business representatives, they had excellent discussions and they are eager and keen to get down to doing more business with each other, to invest more, to trade more. Trade between our two countries is beginning to support the joint vision of industrialization of both countries, though much still needs to be done. Last year, Your Excellencies, South Africa exported key inputs into Kenya's industrial supply chains, including coal to power Kenyan industry, particle board used to make furniture here, steel to be transformed in Kenya, and car kits that are assembled in Kenya. Kenya is now South Africa's largest global supplier of fresh flowers. But we also recognize that the overall level of trade is not sufficient. Indeed, it went down in both 2020 and in 2021. And in particular, South African exports declined, which we look to reverse. At the same time, there's vast scope for more Kenyan products in the South African market, from the delicious teas and range of fruits to Kenyan manufactured articles. Minister Kuria and I are already working on unlocking those opportunities. Firms from both sides see opportunities to invest. There's a Kenyan investor in South Africa in a large nut plantation uh, in uh, macadamia nuts. PG Bison has invested in Kenya manufacturing uh, for furniture and Distel in beverage manufacturing. Standard Bank and MTN are investing in Kenyan infrastructure. All of this is about growth, about jobs, about trade. Trade, Your Excellencies, have been in the blood of our people for many centuries. Communities in present-day Kenya and South Africa were part of the great network of trade routes that stretch along the Swahili coast. The great trading centers of Mombasa, of Lamu, of Malindi, and Gede. And this community connected with the southern African kingdom of Mapungupwe. These trading cities also traded with the rest of the world, with China, with Europe, with the Middle East. And they connected parts of the African continent, facilitating the flow of goods among Africans in gold and salt, in beads and carvings, in ivory and gum, in metalworks and textiles. Colonialism interrupted and deeply damaged the indigenous development of African trade and caused harm to our societies that has lasted for centuries. Today, Africa has the opportunity to decisively turn the corner, and that's what the state visit is about. His Excellency President Ramaphosa, His Excellency President Ruto, leading the way to reverse the legacy of the past. And so today, we have this opportunity to hear from the two excellencies on their vision and as uh, members of the respective cabinets we've already put to, uh, been put to task to step up the work that we do in order to address all the challenges that have come out in the business forum in the bilateral trade talks and I want to end by saying that President Ramaphosa has given us a job to prioritize economic relationships with Kenya as uh, uh, leader of the African Union uh, during uh, the COVID period, President Ramaphosa championed the idea of Africa making its own medical products from vaccines to face masks to ventilators. As uh, during the meetings of the G20 heads of state, he has put African development at the center of his advocacy and efforts. And next year, South Africa will chair BRICS, bringing together China, India, South Africa, Brazil and Russia, and President Ramaphosa has set out an ambitious agenda focused on the partnership between BRICS 
and Africa. And that therefore means this state visit and the business forum that we've had here are really significant building blocks to giving effect to that vision. Thank you very much. Thank you, Your Excellencies.